Earl Martin here with Real Life, part of the Long Island International Film Expo. I'm here with filmmaker... Marino Amoruso. Marino, you have a film, Jackie Robertson, My Story. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, it's kind of different. It's a uh, first-person docudrama. There's a performance by an actor as Jackie Robinson, intercut with historical footage of what he's talking about as he reminisces about his life. So it's kind of a new genre. It really is. Nice. And what led you to your ideas of uh, doing a story on Jackie Robinson? Well, I never thought Jackie got the credit he deserved for really changing American history and changing social history in America. It was always in a baseball context. But... I've always believed, and a lot of the media said it, if it wasn't for Jackie Robinson, there is no President Obama. I mean, it all traces back. So I wanted to bring him to life so future generations could understand exactly what this man did and what he went through to change America for the better. Very nice. And how long did it take you to come up with uh, your script idea? Well, I wrote the script actually about 15 years ago. It was difficult to get made because nobody knew what it was. They would say, "Is it?" You know, I, you know, I've done over fifty films with all kinds of networks, and they'd say, "Is it a movie?" And I'd say, "Well, no." Is it a documentary? Well, no. Is it a one-man show? Well, no. Well, what is it? It's a kind of a combination of all three. And then, uh, actually, the man who ultimately financed it was uh, Pat Boone, the old singer from years ago. And uh, that's how we got it done. How long did it take for this whole production from script to end production? Well, the actual production took about six months. Uh, We shot six days, you know, on set. But the pre-production, we we rebuilt the entire Dodger locker room at Ebbets Field where Jackie appears. And, you know, from photos and things like that. But it really was about 15 years in the making because it's funny. When I got the call from Pat Boone that he wanted to finance this thing, uh, it's a call I've been waiting for for 15 years because I wrote the script when my twins were five and I got the green light when they were 20. So, you know, it's a lesson in perseverance. You know, you got to just keep going if you believe in something. Absolutely. That is definitely the truth behind that. Um, How about your cast? Can you tell me a little bit about your cast and how um, you decided to pick the characters to portray certain, like Jackie and... You know, Jackie is the one actor in it, and uh, we uh, auditioned at least three or four hundred actors. And But when I saw Stephen Hill, who ultimately portrayed Jackie, uh, as soon as I saw him, we videotaped all the uh, auditions. And as soon as I saw him, it was like, this is Jackie. He looks just like him. He talks just like him. He walks just like him. Because you have to understand, during the film, we're intercutting between the actor portraying Jackie and actual footage of Jackie. So there has to be a physical resemblance, uh, all you know, the way he talks, the way he walks. And he nailed it. Oh, my God, did he nail it. He just was incredible. So, uh for all the actors we auditioned, as soon as I saw him, and I knew going in, when I saw the guy, I would know. And as soon as I saw the first five minutes of his audition, I was like, that's the guy. So, Very nice. Is this your first time with us in the Long Island International Film Expo? Yes, it is. I, I never, you know, I've always, you know, when you're filmmaking, you're an independent filmmaker, you're always just working on the next film and getting it done and paying the bills and doing what you have to do. And my partner, who produced the film, Myra Weinstein, uh, said, you know, we should enter this some festivals. I think it'll do well. And it turned out this one and five or six other festivals, we've been nominated all over the place. And I was like, wow, that's great. You know, so. Absolutely. Congratulations on that. Are you excited for the premiere very shortly of your film? Well, yeah, it's always cool to see a film in the theater. You know, uh, a couple of films I've done have been uh, distributed theatrically and you know, I've my films have been seen by millions of people on networks all over the country and around the world. I've done a lot of films. But there's just something special about sitting in a darkened theater and watching it on a big screen. It's a very special experience. Very good. Do you have anything that you'd like to put out there to any uh, young uh, independent filmmakers here on Long Island? Absolutely. There's one rule about filmmaking, and that rule is there are no rules. Get it done. That's a great great motto there. Very good. Well, 
I'm excited to see it premiere, and thank you very much for your time. You it was much. a pleasure. Thank you. I learned a few things during my life as I, as I got older and matured. Violence isn't the answer. Hate isn't the answer. You see, the American ideal of equality among men is the highest ideal that any nation can aspire to. The fight wasn't to bring down America or to be separate from it. In my eyes, the fight was to make the nation live up to the very foundation on which it was built, that all men are created equal. The way to achieve this, as I saw it, was through education, through integration, through the gaining of basic human rights. And the winner of the, the, winner of the Gold Pass Award is the J Jackie Robinson, My Story. Perseverance. Uh, I wrote that script when my kids were five, my twins, and they're now 22 years old. So, and in between, I made like 40 films, and there was a lot of stuff on TV, and a couple of Emmy nominations, what have you, of course, yeah. But anyway, the bottom line was, I always had this in the back of mind, I have to do this story, I have to do it, and I kept at it, and I kept at it, and I kept at it. And after 15 years, I got, I finally got that phone call that every filmmaker wants to get that says, it's a go. And I'm sitting at the table, and I'm like, okay. Now I'm really in for it, because I don't know, you know. But uh, I just want to tell Jackie's story for future generations to understand that this man changed America for the better. He made America a better place. And everything goes back to a foundation and a cornerstone. And that's what Jackie Robinson was. And he made this nation a better place for all of us. And I just wanted to keep him alive as a person so young people can watch it and see what a tremendous uh, hero that he was. Not a black one, not a white one, just a great American hero. Thank you very much. <laughs>